Starting by wanting to reduce waste created a lot of beautiful connections with my local stores around me. I got a reusable coffee cup. Then I started cutting out and takeaway containers and just bring my container to the restaurant. They all knew me as the container guy. Uh, my mom was always a very passionate person about the environment. She never looked at trash as trash. She always looked at trash as resource. She kept it for recycling. She cleaned it. She made arts out of it. I think she was definitely a pioneer at that time. Around 2017, 2018, in my home country in Lebanon, there was a trash crisis that started. The streets of the city where I grew up were packed where stacks of, of trash was piling up. Trucks, like were dumping trash into the sea. Then it was in summer, it came back onto the shores. And I, I guess that's a time when I really became aware of it and especially about the need of doing something. So I think this is what brought me one day to decide to cut out plastics. By reducing my plastics, I was also reducing my waste. For the first 18 months, the entire waste I produced was that. Two years later, I still had that. Wherever I can, I'll try to align my actions with my values. It's all about being mindful. The only thing that changed is not the way I live, it's just the way I think before buying something. Often you realize that your impact goes further than the direct impact you have. And that means, for example, supporting the businesses that support change too. When I discovered after the Royal Commission that the bank I was banking with did not support my values, I started looking for an alternative. So I found that Bank Australia aligned with my values in more than a few ways, mainly on sustainability, that was the first one, but also that they didn't support any project with fossil fuels or animal cruelty. And that's why I choose Bank Australia.